whether we talk about Patrick John Coleman, Teal Swan, Spirit Science, or Krista Reiser, Arcturus Ra, Arcturian Philosophy, and any number of other characters on YouTube, no matter what we say about them, what we can say for sure is that many of these people have a mixture of ideas. How could they be pure con men, you may wonder. When we look at Christine Pavlina and people of her kind, do we think they're pure con men? Or are they actually people who have a belief, but also use marketing techniques to create a career? In effect, making them a kind of fraud because they're a fraudulent product, but they actually believe on some level that what they're doing is either true or at least helps people. Even the so-called absolute fraud, the con artist, the scammer, must on some level create some kind of way of living with their problems. So when it comes down to people like Psychic Sally, or John Edward, or Teresa Caputo, or even the late Sylvia Brown, with people like this, they must create some kind of belief within themselves so they can actually live with the fact that they scam people. That's presuming they're not sociopaths or psychopaths. But we should not forget that a great many people who become effectively con artists start out with good intentions, or even with an honest belief. How many spiritualists believe in spiritualism or believe in new age principles? And then over time, they realize it's false, but they realize they couldn't start a career in anything else. So they continue the trick as a medium, a channeler, a healer, and they use it as a way of ensuring they have an income because they've dedicated years, perhaps even decades, to their spiritual quest.